What's up everyone, Danny Lightning here. We are going to run the 2024 Easter event and try and win the Rocket Bunny Camaro Z28. So I guess we're just going to do this entire event. So let's get the thing started. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you a lot, but let's get to it. So lock in number one gives you three choices. I'm going to go ahead and pick the orange guy because that's the only one I got upgraded. So orange guy. Here we go. So let's grab the Rocket Bunny V2 Fair Lady Z Z33. And for some reason, it's not working. Actually, it's going to let you do the first couple of races without locking in the car. It's not malfunctioning. I'm just doing it wrong. Okay. <laughs> let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. We're on a different track than normal. This one looks really nice. I love this track. I wish they would use this for more stuff. So the first couple of races. We're going to get to use the awesome looking Camaro. All right, here we go. Early shift, good shift, perfect shift, and some other type of shift. This is a beautiful car. Like, I know it does have a live racing setup. It looks awesome. I can't wait to get this car, guys and gals. Looks like an amazing car so far. From what we can tell, I will have a video out on how to drive this in a couple of days. Yesterday, I put out a video on how to drive that new uh, Elite Tuners NSXR, which is pretty cool. Not my favorite Elite Tuners car out of them all so far, but it's still a cool car nonetheless. Three, two, one, go. Now, rumor has it you might actually get a free car for this event, but I've already got all the cars, so... If there's anything free, I'm probably not going to end up with it because I've already got them all. So let me know in the comments, did you guys get a free car for this? That would be awesome if you did. I know in the past, a couple of these Rocket Bunny cars were free, so I wouldn't be surprised if they do give out a couple of these for free. All right, 50,000 game cash on race number three or race number four or whatever the heck that was. Let's go do it to it on the next race. All right, we got the green versus blue. Who's going to win? I think green is going to come on top with the green booger. Slimer. Primer. Don't ask. All right. So far, I really like the way this car drives. And I'm not really much of a Camaro guy, right? I don't like Camaros in general. Camaros are not my favorite cars in the world. But I do like this one. This Camaro is beautiful. Like, if somebody gave me, like, an old 60s Camaro, I would probably sell it. But if somebody gave me this one, I would definitely keep it. Like, hands down, I would keep this one and drive it everywhere. I don't know. I just like this one, but I don't normally like... What is this? Easter Pandem Monum Rush? Okay. So now it wants me to select my first car. Now we're going to grab the Rocket Bunny V2 Fair Lady Z. All right, cool, cool. Locking in car, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, it looks like in the daily deals, you can get all three of these purple star cars here for $39. So, that's interesting. If you look in the crates, you can get the golden star version of these cars for keys. So, some are silver, some are gold, but they are there in case you guys need to get them that way. Alright, so here we go. But honestly, I don't think I really like, other than the looks... I don't really think most of these Rocket Bunny cars are that great. So we either hit Nitrous on third or fourth with this car. I can't remember exactly, but we're just going to do it on third because I'm pretty sure it's third gear. I got a terrible memory. I should have looked this up, but I didn't. All right, so 10.1s. He's running a 19-something. Yeah, he stood no chance against my orange guy. All right, Nissan Parts. Thank you, Jess. I will take it. I will take it. All right, we got some parts. Let's go ahead and move on to the next race. So there are 40 races. Hopefully there's not going to be a bunch of those ladder races because those drive me crazy. Three, two, one, go. I just, oh, I hit nitrous on the wrong gear. That's okay. I think I got most of these cars max or close to it. So if I get stuck, I'm going to have to go check my tunes of what parts I have installed because I don't know if I got these on the regular tune or I don't know if I got these set up for live racing or what so yeah if we get stuck on a race it's going to be retuning and part fitting time sometimes you got to do that unfortunately all right here comes the next one three two one go second 
Third in nitrous. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. And sixth gear. Oh, I missed the button. Good job, Danny Lighting. Missing the button, shifting the gears, running wrong. I just don't know. I just don't know. So I got a 10.3. Cool, cool. 10.314. All right, give me some parts. Thank you, thank you. I wish you could kind of like skip that and just collect them and not have to sit there and waste your time. I'm a guy that doesn't like to waste time. I just like to get it done. I just want to be like, bam, collect and go. You know what I mean? I don't want to sit there and be like, collect, collect, collect. All right, zero to 100 race. Three, two, one, go. All right, I think we got her. I think we got her. And we got her good. So, he ran a what? Oh, he didn't even finish. That means we beat the crap out of that guy. We gave him a big old crap sandwich to the face. And he saw my taillights as I did 0 to 60 really fast. Let's go ahead and move on to the next race and see what we got. So far, so good. I know we're probably going to end up having the next lock-in come up very soon. 3, 2, 1, go. Second, third nitrous, fourth gear, fifth gear. And yeah, I'm not even sure if this car is maxed out. I think I have this maxed out or very close. I might be missing a couple of stage six parts. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think I have all the stage six for this, but we'll find out eventually. There was a 10.2, he ran 15. So, so far, my cars are running way faster. Here comes race number nine out of 40. But yeah, I mean, it's always like starting out really slow and then it gets harder as you go, but this will give you a good idea if your car is going to be fast enough, right? I do have videos on each one of these cars and how to drive them in case you're looking for that. We do have videos on that, so you might want to look those up. Just type in Danny Lightning in the name of the car on YouTube, and if I have a video for it, it should be the first thing that pops up. All right, so we're almost out of gas. I got a 10-1. He ran a 14 point something. Thank you for the parts, Jess. Please just let me collect it. Thank you. Oh, great. She did it that time. That was awesome. One part, right? We only got one part that time. Here comes a speed trap of 175 miles per hour. Three, two, one, go. And I don't think these speed traps are actually significant yet. I mean, they're going to be eventually. But we're still at the start where all this stuff is pretty slow. So I'm sure they're going to get faster as we go. So we that was 175. We did 239. And we got a piece of a car. Yes, we got a piece of a car. <laughs> all right. We got some tires. Stage 6 tires for my car. So now we're going to go ahead and select our second car to lock in. And I think, we're, oh man, we got to go with this thing. The Rocka Bunny M3 GTS. I don't really like this little car, but that's what we're going to lock in. So we're going to confirm that. I actually need to check the parts on this because I don't think it's set up correctly. So hold on a minute. So I had to install a couple parts on it and all kinds of junk, retune it. So now she's ready to rock and roll. This is a beautiful car. I love the way it looks, but it's kind of a crappy car, unfortunately. Three, two, one, go. So I can't say I do not like this car. I do not like this car at all, other than I love the way that it looks, but it's a pretty terrible car overall. It, it sucks, man. All, all these nice Rocka Bunny cars that aren't really that good. I don't know. You think something like the Rocka Bunny cars would be extra good, but not all of them are. All right, we got a little bit of gold. Here comes race number, uh, we're going to night race number 12. So let's go do it to it. All right. I do really like this racetrack though. All these cars look amazing on this track. Bam. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth. This one does shift a little bit fast. But yeah, it's just not a great car. I mean, it is a tier three car and most of the tier three cars in this game kind of suck. There's a couple good tier three cars, but most of them with tier three cars, I don't know why CSR just kind of hates tier three because there's a lot of good tier one cars there's a lot of good tier 2 cars. There's a lot of good tier 4 cars and tier 5 cars. But when it comes to tier 3, most of them are just kind of blah, I would say. 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, you mean, oh crap. Yeah, it's a, it's a really fast shift in the second, so you gotta watch that. It's better to shift a little early than late and bury the needle like that. 
So I would be better off just instantly shifting in the second so I don't bury the needle. But you really don't want to, you don't want to shift early if you don't have to, but yeah, better early than late on this game. Alright, so we got some parts. Cool, cool. Thank you, Jess. I will take those. I will take those now. Alright, so let's move on to, oh, okay, we got to lock in the next car already. That was quick. That was only a couple of races, I guess. Oh, wait, that's not a lock-in. Why is it forcing me to go back to the map? I don't quite understand why they do that. That makes so the ads don't pop up for gas, so you can't watch ads to get more gas when it forces you to come back to the map. You have to do so many races in a row without going back to the map for the ads to pop up, so I'm guessing they do that because for some reason they don't want you to watch ads during some of these events. I've never quite understood why they do that because I'm pretty sure they get paid money when you watch an ad. So that guy just destroyed me, but it's okay because it's a ladder race. I'm not worried about it. So that was the first one we lost big time. My tier 4 car was destroyed by Mr. Tier 5 guy, so it is what it is. I've been saying that a lot lately. I don't normally say it is what it is, but the last couple of days, I've been in a bad habit of saying that. And I hate when people say that. It is what it is. Three, two, one, go. Ah, oh, crap sandwiches. I did it again. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, destroy this guy really quick and win this race. We're definitely going to win this one. That's all I can say. All right. So no big deal. No big deal. We got her. We got her. Now, back when I first started, when I got destroyed by that first car, I probably would have restarted the whole thing in hopes to win. But now I know you don't have to because normally it, it kind of like sets you up to lose certain ones and win certain ones. And it, it's, it's a weird deal. All right. Here comes the next race. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous. Third, fourth. 5th gear, 6th gear, and that's pretty much all she wrote right there. Just so you guys know, Pandem and Rocket Bunny are basically the same company. So that's why you see Rocket Bunny cars with Pandem logos, I mean. I'm not really sure why they call the Pandem car a Rocket Bunny car. Maybe it just makes it easier, but, you know, kind of strange. Kind of strange. All right, Jess, thank you for the parts. We're on race number 16, so we're almost halfway through this already. All right, now we got a 0 to 60 time, so let's see what we can do. 3, 2, 1, go. Second nitrous. I'm probably better off just doing that so I don't bury the needle. All right, so there we got a 1.2, and he ran a 2.9, so we got through that easily. I think I've only got three stage six parts on this particular car. This is one of the newer cars, so it doesn't have as many parts as my older cars. All those other cars I've had for a really long time. This one we got, what, a couple months ago, I think? So, yeah, it is what it is. There I go again. There I go, saying that dumb thing. Man. Three, two, one, go. All right, that was really good. I did it just about perfect there. But yeah, I go through like weird phases where I'll, where I'll say a certain thing for a while. And then after a couple months, I'll forget all about it and never say it again. All right, here comes number 18. But ba bam it's going to make me go back to the map, it looks like. The question is why? Why do I have to go back to the map? That wastes my time. Make so I can't watch the ads. I don't get it. Does anybody know? If you know, let me know in the comments. Because it's not even another lock-in or nothing. It's so dumb. I mean, they're just forcing you to spend your gold or something to get gas. Maybe maybe that's the point. Maybe they would rather you spend buy gold. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Three, two, one, go. Ah, crap. I drove the car wrong. I'm trying to drive it like you drive the M3, and holy crap, I just got destroyed. That's not good. Oh wait, it's a ladder race, it doesn't matter, cool, cool. I was like, man, this car must not be <laughs> set up properly. All right. Three, two, one, go, and I count it completely wrong. I messed up my shift. But, uh, yeah, 
I drove that like complete dog do and <laughs> hopefully we still won because I messed that up so bad like everything about that run was wrong like everything I didn't do anything right my launch was bad all my shifts were bad like it was all bad okay here comes race number 19 so I think we got that one we got 125 keys cool cool all right, here comes the next race. Danny Lightning YT versus Max the Cat that has like, I don't know, a donut on its head or something. Let's go do it to it. Three, two, one, go. All right, that was a pretty good run right there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. I'm going to monitor the temperatures on my computer. I was changing the fan speeds around, so... Right now, the... Yeah, it's running hotter than I would like. Alright, it's running hotter than normal. So, the fan speed adjustments are making it run about 20 degrees Celsius warmer than normal. Okay. I, I tried to lower the fan speeds a little bit, but it is running much hotter. And I don't like that. I might have to change it back. You know, you can hear the fans like the way I had it before. The fans always made noise, but that's okay. I'd rather have a little bit noisy fans and a cooler running computer, I would say. Now I'm going to lock in the Rocket Bunny Corvette Stingray. I got to go look, at, look up how to drive this one, so I'll be right back. Let me pause this. All right, so this car is actually kind of a, kind of a weird car to drive. You can hit nitrous on like 4th, 5th, or 6th according to my video. Depending on how you have it set up, it might change. So, we'll play with it. 3, 2, 1, go. 2nd, 3rd, 4th. Let's just hit nitrous on 4th and see what it does. We might want to hit it on 5th. But this is a really nice looking car. But unfortunately, it's, it's not very good. It's kind of a lousy car. Which I wish would change because it's one of the coolest looking cars in the game, I would say. I'm not really a Corvette guy either, but what's wrong with the front end of my car? I'm not really a Corvette guy, but I would drive the heck out of this Corvette, right? The newer Corvettes look amazing. I don't like the older. I don't really like the older Corvettes. Now, I like the very original ones from like the 60s, but I don't like the Corvettes from like the 80s or the 90s. But the brand new ones from like the, the late 2000s, man. Those are nice looking cars. And yeah, don't try and drink and drive because <laughs> as I'm drinking my coffee and I'm putting it down, I, I I didn't have any time. I'm like, okay, let me get this thing started. And then I, I got my shifts and everything all wrong because yeah, don't, don't drink coffee and drive CSR at the same time, guys and gals. That was a uh, that caused me to get a really bad run on this thing. All right, three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and nitrous. Yeah, I think fifth, fifth feels right. Fifth feels right. All right, there we go. Ba bam, we got her. We got her good. There was 10.3 out of a 17.8. That was easy. Now it's making me go back to the map again. All right, cool. We got two of those gold tokens. I will take it. But why do I have to go back to the map? Can somebody please explain to me why they're making me go back to the map for no freaking reason other than I'm going to have to spend gold instead of watch ads? Drives me crazy. So we're going to do a ladder race. We got three car lock-ins. The thing I hate about the ladder race is they take up more time. Instead of instead of this race taking like 30 minutes, it's probably going to take like an hour. Whoa. The, the rims on the back of that car are freaking cool looking. Three, two, one, go. All right. So if you notice, that car has really cool rims. But you probably don't notice because he's like way back there and we can't see him anymore. But the rear rims on that car looked like a big chrome disc. All right, he's gone. Unfortunately, we don't get to see it again. He's out of there. Goodbye, Mr. Car. We will miss you. We will miss you. We will miss you. All right. Three, two, one, go. All righty. 
All righty, all righty. Bam. Ba bam. Ba 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 bam. And why do I feel like, oh, I'm going to lose? I feel like that card needed to shift into the next gear. I mean, it sounded like it needed to shift. It doesn't feel like this car is running optimal, so yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. I feel like counting actually gives me a better launch. Now, does it make me drive the car better? Probably not, but I feel like I get a better better launch when I say three to one go because you want to let go of the gas right on go on some cars. And that countdown, I don't know, I just feel like I get a better launch if I count. You should give it a try. If you if you already don't, give it a try, you know? You might save a tenth of a second on your launch if you do your little countdown thingy dingy. Alright, so right now we got a zero to one hundred race. Three, two, one, go. Second, third. All right, there we are. We got it, no problem. No problem. So I did it in 2.6, and he didn't even finish, meaning we completely destroyed that guy, and he is out of here. He is out of here. All right. Okay, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and do that. 25 out of 40. Can't complain too much. Three, two, one, go. Second. And I totally messed up my shift pattern on that one as well. I apologize for driving like crap. It's early in the morning. I'm still half asleep and I'm not used to driving these four cars. All right. Here comes some big old money. Thank you. Thank you. We're up to 125 million game cash. <clears throat> That's almost three years worth of being as stingy as I can with my game cash to save that much. Three, two, one, go. It takes forever to save a bunch of game cash up. I'll tell you that right now. It is a very, very, very slow process. A lot of people ask me all the time, how do you get so much game cash? Or how do you get this fast? Or how do you get that fast? Truth is... You're not going to get anything fast in this game unless you're spending real money to get it. Everything acquires very slowly. So you got to play a lot and be very, very, very stingy and resourceful with your resources. Don't spend them if you don't have to, or you're always going to be broke on everything. All right, so let's go race. We are on, what race are we on? Oh, it's another one of those ladder races. Man, I just don't like the ladder races. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous. Third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, and that's just about all she wrote right about there. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Next race. Next race. What's that say up there? I don't know. All right, so Nuremberg ring. Bam. So if you don't count out loud, at least count in your head, right? And I still messed that one up. The other guy hasn't even started yet. That doesn't make sense. I mean, I got almost all the way to the end of the track before they even let him start. Weird. Weird stuff. Very weird stuff. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, and nitrous. But yeah, that is a really nice looking car, I must say. I would love to have one of those cars. Most anything by Rocket Bunny looks amazing. I mean, I don't, I don't think I've seen a Rocket Bunny a rocket bunny or a pandem car that's not 100% beautiful. I mean, maybe maybe there's some out there, but those two always look top notch. Three, two, one, go. All right. Let's go do it to it. And we win, we win, we win. I think I'm going to need to pause this and go refill my coffee because my coffee seems to be just about empty. So we're going to go ahead and do the last. We'll, we'll, we'll stop at race 30. 
once we hit race 30 that's when we're gonna go refill the coffee i would take you with me but you know the camera is kind of like stuck to the computer and i don't think the wires will reach into my coffee room that's right i have a coffee room i have a room dedicated to just coffee there's 94 coffee pots in there and i'm making this up don't pay attention to me there's only one coffee pot and it's actually in the kitchen it's not really a coffee room but one can pretend right all right i'm gonna pause it we'll be right back all right i'm back and the first question is did you miss me i bet you didn't even realize i was gone I bet you didn't even realize I was gone. All right, three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, fifth and nitrous, sixth gear, seventh gear, and that's all she wrote. We kicked that car's butt. Yeah, easy peasy so far. I mean, I do have a lot of parts on most of these cars. Now it wants me to go back to the map again. I can, I, I can sort of understand no, I can't understand any reason why it's making me do that. There's no reason in the world. All right, so now I got to select my Rocket Bunny Aero Boss 240. And I also got to go figure out how to drive that one because I haven't driven this in a long time. So let me go look that up and I'll be right back. So it looks like this is a really weird car where you launch from zero RPMs and shift right into fourth. I don't remember it driving like that. Three, two, one go second third oh i hit all the wrong freaking buttons to shift i think i hit the nitrous like four times but uh, <laughs> i don't know i just ran an 8.4 this car should run about a 7.4 but i completely messed that one up <laughs> oh, god all right hold on i'm having a bad day as far as shifting cars today like my my car shifting is horrible today like it's just so bad i mean usually Usually, I, I drive much better than I am today. All right, let's try that again. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth. Oh, my God. I got in the fifth. I don't like cars that do this. It's it's a weird car. So, there we ran like an 8.3. So, I must not have this car maxed out. But if we're still running 8.3s. We should be able to beat it even though it's weird and I don't like it. There's actually quite a few really weird cars in this game. I will tell you that much for sure, but man. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. And that's why you don't shift it like that, right? I tried the normal shift and it got really, really sticky gear. So I guess you do want a zero RPM launch on this car. All right, here comes race number 34. Like, my cars are fast enough currently that I can play around and mess up, but pretty soon it's going to get to the point where I need to get really good shifts. All right, 0 to 100. 3, 2, 1, go. Second, third, fourth, nitrous. Let's try that. All right, we got her. We got her. We got her. I wonder if they intentionally made this car drive this way or if that's a glitch that this is faster because it doesn't make sense as to why you would want a zero rpm launch on a car when all almost all the other cars are you know different than that did they make this one unique on purpose or did it just kind of turn out that way by mistake i don't know but i don't like it three two one go second third fourth and i'm not i don't remember which gear to i already forgot which gear i'm supposed to hit nitrous on so I better pause that and look this up again because I totally forgot already. I just I just watched my video and uh, yeah. All right, so there we ran an 8.5, which is pretty crappy. Very, very crappy. Okay, so we're supposed to hit nitrous on fourth and again, it's making me go back out to the map. Why CSR racing? Why? Ah, crap, it's a ladder race. Oh, man. So that's like four for the price of one. I'd rather just do the price of one. One for the price of one because that's a much faster deal. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous. I've already forgotten how to drive this car. Now, it's too many cars to remember how to drive this early in the morning. Oh, yeah. 
Like I said, I'm having a bad day of remembering how to drive these cars today. I think I've got the Alzheimer's. Sometimes I wonder. Sometimes I wonder. Three, two, one, go. Second. I really do have some sort of major memory issues. I think I need to figure out like what's good for your memory and start eating that. Maybe there's like some sort of food that's like really good for your member. Mem memories? I know there's like uh, a ginkgo biloba or whatever, but I don't know whatever that is. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. I just figured out how to drive the last car and now I forgot how to drive the other three. That's pretty bad, actually. That That's really, really bad. That is really bad. But, I, I don't know. Sometimes it does worry me that I have major memory problems. Three, two, one, go. And I totally drove this car completely wrong. Man. I'm all messed up. All messed up today. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. 250 miles per hour. Let's go do it to it. Let's go do it to it. All right, three, two, one, go. Two, three, four, nitrous. That's how we're supposed to do it, I believe. Just like that on this car. And there we ran at 8.3. So yeah, this car is not maxed out because I think we should be running around seven threes if we had our max, so. It's going to be good enough, I think. We should be good enough. As long as we win the Camaro, it doesn't really matter. Here comes race number 38. And of course, I got to buy gas. Gosh darn it. For I had to buy gas for like two more races. All right, here we go. Speed trap of 236 miles per hour. Three, two, one go second third nitrous and i think i was supposed to go into fourth but that's okay we did her no problem so here comes race number 39 all right so we got some stage six parts for it hopefully that's something i can actually use i don't know if it will be or not but i definitely hope it is three two one go second third night oh crap i screwed up the whole freaking thing and i'm pretty sure the last race is going to be like a giant ladder where we have to do all four cars so. or was that it was that the last race he ran a 9.1 i think that was it all right cool cool so that was overall pretty easy i mean i've had all of these cars for a really long time Okay, there's one more. Yeah, it's probably going to be the big ladder race. Yep. Yep, yep. One big giant last final battle royale extravaganza of CSR2 racing on a racetrack with rocket money cars and stuff. I bet you can't say that ten times in a row. All right, here we go. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And that guy destroyed me. So let's see if we beat the next guy. And it's really bad. I don't want to have to look up all four cars again because I've already, I seriously, I don't remember how to drive these already. I had three of them down. Then I looked up the fourth one and all of a sudden, bloop. Yeah, that's not good. All right. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth. Six gear. And I'm pretty sure that's how we drive that one. We beat that guy up. No problem. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. We will catch you later. See you on the flip side, Mr. Mister. All right. Here comes the next one. Here comes the next one. Here comes the next one. Three, two, one, go. All right. All right, all right. Oh crap, that guy destroyed me. I didn't drive the car well, and we got one last race to go. So hopefully my uh, my Aero 240 deal, whatever you call it, Boss Aero 240 SX, is gonna be fast enough. 
All right. He's holding. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth. And we got her. Bam. Bam. And that should be it. So overall, you know, if you have a decent amount of parts on these cars, you should be fine. Two or three stage six parts will probably get you through it. Yeah, that was all right. Not too bad. And we got 300,000 game cash. I will take it. Thank you very much. So yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Whoa, we got some glitches right there. Oh my gosh, it's driving through the wall. That is so weird. Wasn't that garage door supposed to open? I hope that didn't scratch my paint. That's all I can say. I really hope that did not scratch my paint because I'll be very angry if it did. We got to inspect this thing. Um, do we see any scratches? I definitely hope not. I definitely hope not. So in a couple of days, I'll have a video out on how to drive this car. I still haven't quite got around to figuring this one out yet. So give me a couple of days and we shall have a really nice video. Unfortunately, you cannot open the hood on this one for some reason. But yeah, cool car. And I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. If you drive down the video's description, you'll see my other YouTube channels, my Discord server, some affiliate links to get some cameras, microphones, lighting, and everyday awesome items on Amazon. Plus, you'll find some game news and all kinds of good stuff and some ways to help support the channel and keep it running. So thank you guys so much. I do appreciate each and every one of you a lot. Huge shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much for being channel members. If you want to be one, just hit the little join button right below the video. But I think that wraps this one up. Lighting it out. Have a great day, and we will catch you next time. See ya.